Hello, good evening everybody. Um, back to the uh, usual recording studio here. And tonight I've got a couple of uh, updates that I wanted to give to everybody. And the first is a brief review of a couple of uh, relatively new documentaries. So a kind of a foundation documentary that I highly recommend to anybody who cares to watch is uh, this one. I apologize for it being backwards because that's just the way the um, screen does it. But Forks Over Knives is an excellent um, foundation um, type of documentary. Talks a lot about basically America's number one killer, which is still heart disease, and ways in which that it can be mitigated, prevented, and treated through a whole food plant-based diet with no added oils. And if you get a chance to check out my um, Facebook page that where I'm posting a lot of these um, presentations and such, it's uh, the FWB, short for Fort Walton Beach, uh, plant-based health um, group on Facebook. And so look up FWB, plant-based health. And one of the things that you'll see that I posted just this weekend is actually a old um, commentary by Dr. Sanjay Gupta of, I think it's CNN or, or someplace, a very famous um, physician who is doing a lot of uh, patient media education projects. And one of the things he reviewed was the information in this documentary. And he also got a chance to interview some of the key players in the field as well. So that's a nice uh, about five, six minute summary which I've recently posted on that uh, Facebook page. And so if you're watching me on the Facebook Live for the Doc Rojo page, I highly encourage you to also check out the other project because as I come across new interesting things, I tend to put it into that other group as well, just so you guys can stay up to date <laughs> with everything. But anyway, this uh, Fork Super Knives, very good um, baseline documentary, especially if anybody is interested in um, avoiding um, heart disease and reversing it. And another one that we've discovered recently is, I don't think this is um, terribly new because um, it's copyrighted 2012, however it was new to me, <laughs> and it's the Fork Server Knives extended interview. So this is kind of a nice one just because it takes a lot of the foundation stuff that was gone over in um, in the first documentary and they just spend some extra time with each of the physicians and the nice thing about the extended interviews one is they just kind of break it up into little chunks and you can watch like three minutes at a time and literally get a little blurb of something and then you know check it out later if you like but anyway those are uh, two very good ones that i thought would mention again uh, i think i mentioned it in one of my earliest uh, editions on here because basically it's uh, those are we're fairly groundbreaking as far as uh, public education and some of the research that's been done over the last, what, 40 years or so. And then another one is um, this additional one. Now this is fast forward to 2017. So this one is called uh, What the Health? And it is in a sense kind of like the so what now kind of um, thing. So the original uh, Forks Over Knives documentary came out a few years ago. We've had lots more uh, physicians, lots more um, research, lots more things since then. And this is kind of looking at basically the intersection of food and the industries and all sorts of different kinds of things together. And it's quite a fun one. Um, I quite enjoyed uh, this one as well. So again, just to put out there backwards, sorry, uh, what the health. And we'll actually be doing a private screening of this, um, kind of a public private screening, um, in a couple of weeks, um, actually at one of the local doctor's offices down here. If that's something that you're interested in, uh, kind of checking it out, and that way we can sit down together and hit the pause button and kind of, kind of explain stuff, or if necessary, or just kind of let it play and have a discussion afterwards or something. Um, then please check out the um, FWB Plant-Based Health Group, and it's going to be on the 17th of June at Dr. Uh, James Wilson's office downtown. And we're going to have a, um, or sorry, not exactly downtown, but, um, but in Fort Walton Beach. And we're going to have a, a sign up on the uh, meetup as well. So 
basically there's limited space. There's only a certain number of chairs we can fit up in there and comfortably for a uh, discussion. So if you're interested in uh, hanging out for a little while and just kind of watching a documentary together and, and uh, doing that, that's going to be at 2 o'clock. Um, it's free, of course, and it's going to be um, at our at my friend's uh, office there. And so uh, if you're interested, please uh, check out the FWB Plant-Based Health Group, and we'll have an announcement uh, for that in a little while. Uh, sometime after we finish today, tonight's video, we'll make a little link so you can check it out if you like. Anyway, it's uh, quite a good documentary, um, and highly recommend uh, checking it out as well. Alrighty, so um, I also wanted to make a little bit of a public service announcement as well. Um, just shortly before um, starting this recording, actually, I saw a New York Times article um, talking about the opioid epidemic, and basically the new news is based on their survey of hundreds of um, coroner's offices across the entire country, and looking at some of the trending data for how many people have been dying uh, from overdoses of drugs in general, um, and specifically, um, it's been on the news, the heroin epidemic and and such, and it's really much more than just heroin that's out there. A lot of people are using um, and abusing prescription drugs. Um, fentanyl is a big one that's out there. and. Lately, in the last year or two, we've started seeing um, elephant tranquilizer, I forget the exact name of it, carbamazepine or something like that, um, has been getting in there. And apparently, um, sometimes when people are getting cuts of cocaine or something, basically, it's getting laced with some of these um, opioids, and it's, it's really killing a lot of Americans right now. And so... Uh, I did post that article from New York Times in the um, FWBB uh, plant-based health group. Um, it's still the original thing. We changed the name a few times over over the course of last year. But anyway, um, if you check that out, um, it'll have a little bit more information, kind of a little more background on what I'm talking about on there. But I did want to just have a public service announcement. If you're in a lot of chronic pain, um, please look into some other options besides the um, chronic opioids uh, to serving that. And if someone needs some extra help, here this is the government organization, um, which has some additional information on the uh, opioid epidemic, uh, samhsa.gov. And they do have a helpline. Um, I wasn't able to transcribe it backwards uh, fast enough to be able to um, kind of make it pretty for you guys here. Um, but the 1-800 number, if you need help, is 1-800-662-HELP, H-E-L-P, or if you're dialing on your phone, 1-800-662-4357 uh, is the number. So, And again, that's just a, a small public service announcement. Uh, probably will do a whole presentation on uh, things you can do to help eliminate chronic pain. Um, some of the short versions of basically... Um, the whole food plant-based diet in general is very anti-inflammatory and very good for being a part of the solution to that. Um, in addition, trying to avoid some of these narcotics in the first place can also be a, um, a main thing as well, but we'll talk more about that in upcoming things. Let me just kind of put together a talk for you guys, but I just wanted to have the um, initial stuff out there for you as well. All right, does anybody have any uh, questions? I see I've got six viewers at the moment. Um, anything burning on your mind tonight? All right, so uh, so tonight I did want to just kind of keep it uh, short and sweet and uh, put out a few uh, words of encouragement to folks that might need it. And then also, if you want to come join us uh, for a face-to-face -face, uh, kind of discussion, this is not a medical appointment by any means, just kind of uh, watching this uh, video together so we can just kind of hang out for a little bit. That would be fun. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I'll say goodnight for now, and we'll see you next week. Take care.